Every piece I make is a bit like jumping off a cliff. I have some inkling, but I never exactly know where I'm going. Even if I have a design in mind or a, or a sense of a model in my head, as soon as the piece begins to evolve, it really takes on a life of its own and defines its evolution. I guess I kind of feel like a choreographer, but also maybe the dancer who's moving with the piece and able to understand its language and respond to what it is that it needs. So my storage space, it's kind of a workshop, to tell you the truth. Ta-da! I find and gather bits and pieces of everything, and I toy with them, and I can roughhouse down here. I found these in a scrapyard. They're very heavy, but... <laughs> this is a broken chair, and these, I think they were the sides of an old mirror. This was a hoe. I call it ho oh, no. <laughs> if it makes me laugh, I know I finished the piece. <laughs> you know, sometimes I'll just pick stuff up off the street and, you know, and every time I think, oh, should I scan this and make a print out of it or just toss it, you know? But it makes me think of something or not. <laughs> Basically, I guess I see most of the work as kind of visual poems that move through unspoken messages and unspoken um, narratives. <laughs> you know, you hear novelists talking about how their characters tell them what their dialogue should be. You know, as I work the piece, something changes that all of a sudden I read it in a new way or it tells me where it wants to go next. It's really, I guess, part of the magic, part of the fun. My father was an artist, he was a painter, and thought I should be a portrait painter. So I took up the jackhammer. I actually studied painting and printmaking, but kind of at the tail end of graduate school at Rodin School of Design, I started to feel that three-dimensional work was more engrossing, it was just more iconic and drew me to try to understand it and to see if it was literally something I could get my hands around, as they say. <laughs> I like the um, possibilities of moving in space, thinking dimensionally. I like the dance of it. I like the physicality of inhabiting space. And um, I thought it just offered more invention. And I do like working with my hands, and I think that that allowed me to make that transition. The joy of the recent work is the ability to combine both my love of color and painting with the dimensionality of sculptural object making. mission for the brand new Children's Hospital in Cincinnati, Ohio. Ready? Here we go. Up and away. The fabricator that I work with, they are so amazing and so cooperative. I somehow am incapable of duplicating myself and I appreciate that Kenny is always coming up with a new way, a new approach to help me realize my vision. We were able to pull the piece, stretch the piece with hoist, and the strength of that equipment and mobility allows me 
to kind of choreograph the movement of the piece. Finding plasticity in such a hard material is always uh, an amazing thing to me. And the more I work with it, the more I find it engaging and intrigued by the new direction that it suggests. Once the piece is worked and stretched and wrestled with, I paint the piece in with car paint, which I just love the color. I have been working with Bob Fulmer at the works maybe 10 years. The pink is going to edge the outsides here. Bob is skilled at painting cars, and he's very comfortable with a compressor, which um, I'm not. I think this should be joke is that I point and he shoots. And we've worked together long enough that we understand each other's signals in terms of, you know, feathering the edge, move further in the edge, more rounded here. Just a whole uh, non-technical, technical vocabulary that are sort of more gestures than anything since we're wearing a mask and we're trying to protect our organs. I work very intuitively. Even if I have a plan at the beginning, the colors themselves start to move me in different directions. The color just evolves and surprises me, usually. I do feel that sculpture is my love. And while I enjoy painting, all of those things are tools to engage and to engage me with the world and hopefully to bring people to respond to my work so that they can express their imagination. Something that ignites your uh, inner life. And I think that's, uh, my wish that the work is um, of some value. <laughs>